So remember, it was this cylinder that had a leaky exhaust valve. Let's see what's going on here. All these valves seem to be protruding the about the same amount. We'll have to uh, get this valve out and take a look in person. Closer look. So I took off the rocker and a little tap it off the exhaust valve that was leaking. Seems to be okay. And so we'll have to get a valve spring compressor, take this off and uh, see what's holding up that valve. Inner, outer, so you have dual valve spring. Here's your keeper and your valve stem retainer or your, your uh, valve keepers are here. Let's pull this bad boy out. All right. So here's this valve. And a little bit of carbon deposits here. Nothing major. Looks pretty good. These are sodium filled. So as you can see, I've already started to lay out some of the stuff here. Got the camshaft and this is the leaky valve. Uh, I'm gonna mark this with a tip just so I don't forget, just in case. <laughs> So as I'm going through my new head over here, I don't know if you can see here, but major issue with this pitting where uh, coolant was. I don't know if there was uh, they were just using straight water in this engine or something again, but clearly there's major pitting here. There's, there's about an eighth of an inch, maybe 16th of an inch recess right there. And where this part on the head sits on the block the head gasket covers this, so it forces water to go from this side to this side, you know, underneath the head gasket. But now, since it's not completely flat, it's going to be pushing up a little bit. Is it a problem? Maybe, maybe not. This is what the head gasket looks like. So clearly you can see there's deformation in the, in the gasket itself. Whether it'll <laughs> seal well or not, well, clearly right there. Right there, you can see that was being pushed up. And that sits on the head like so. So there was an issue right here. Uh, the other heads are in such poor condition regarding the valve seats. Let's go look at that. You know, from a corrosion perspective, this does look better because th there's nothing happening over here. Same with this side, it's in great condition, but obviously you dropped valve seats here and here. You don't know what condition everything else is in. So you'd have to go through every single valve seat on this to make sure you're good and you're not dropping anything, locking the engine up. Honestly, I'm probably going to run the corroded heads. Uh, I'm not going to be going through all this, uh, you know, just to, there's going to be a lot of money in it one way or another. And every time I spend a single dollar on this M117 engine, I always consider you have a very good 
Low mile, 5.3 LS here, $350 for the whole engine, PCM, wiring harness, everything. Do you just take this, put it in here? I don't care about blasphemy. I care about reliability, maybe some fuel economy. This is still a lot of work to make it work with all the gauges. I don't know. That looks pretty nice. Nothing major going on. Looking in the cylinder walls, pretty decent as well. So obviously I forgot to hit record. I took all the tappets off. Now let's get these valve springs off. And this is the left hand head. Front, rear, you know, camshaft all laid out. Let's go. <laughs> These bolts are a pain in the ass. I really do think the only way you can actually get them in, you gotta put these bolts in first before you put the valve springs on. That is dumb. Check out how this head surface looks like. No issues here. All these valves look to be about the same. Like I said, all the, all the compression was great on all these other cylinders. Continuing on with the head disassembly, came up with a little tool. Basically, it's a little, uh, whatever, the six mil here that threads into this guy. Um, a couple little washers here to stack it up. And all we're gonna do, I did soak it with some penetrating fluid earlier. Should be fine, because there's oil in here all the time. Basically, all it's a little forcing screw. So you have your little standoff here. And in theory, this should be able to pull this whole guy out right now because we're forcing against here. And then we're gonna take off these uh, uh, adjustable rockers here. So let's take a look here. I'll, even, I'll mark it so we can watch it come out. You can see that mark. Look at that. So I know they have special pullers, but it seems to be working. At least on this one, just fine. There we go, that's one pin. That's all there is to it. So here's a little tool. Just a little spacer, nut, bolt, long enough to thread in, that's it. Bam, peanut butter and ham. So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna use some layout fluid this is the uh, exhaust valve that was had 20% leakage through it. Um, spray this valve out a little bit. You know, there's nothing immediately that I could see other than you know, possibly this is not a good seal here for whatever reason. Um, you know, there, there's, 
the valve seat itself there might be a little bit of carbon here preventing it from seating all the way there's actually quite a bit of carbon built up right here so we're gonna put some layout fluid in here and just see if that uh if this seat makes good contact we're gonna be using some uh die cam steel blue put some on the exhaust valve here We're gonna drop this guy in. Pop it out and see if we get transfer. All right, let's see. Oh, look at that. So pretty good coverage here. And right here, right here, we can see there's nothing. So let's make another note of that where it is. Let's say somewhere about here. Then after, we'll go ahead and lap this area, if I can get this cylinder head <laughs> to be good because uh, it's got quite a bit of corrosion here.